Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. This is an uh, introduction on how to use 3D cockpits as the same way you made 2D cockpits uh, before uh, of this plane. Uh, the reason I didn't create a 2D cockpit inside the CRJ200 was uh, because I wanted to I wanted to go far ahead in the textures. If I had to create a 2D cockpit, then I had to use more textures that couldn't use that memory in other objects. That way I made that. And I think it's no problem at all for everyone, even people that are supposed to lose inside the 3D copies, to use this airplane as op also as 2D options, 2D copies. Well, I have to say sorry about my English. I try to do my best. <laughs> But I'm not English, so <laughs> sorry. Well, the first thing we are going to do is load CRJ, the 1.1 version that uh, we are making. But uh, uh, this is working also in the 1.0 version because it's using a plugin called uh, Pilot View. Okay, we open it, wait for the loading, and we are with engines call. And dark in giants. So here is the plane loaded, and we have the visual outside the plane. You get inside, and you know you can manage with the mouse. It's very difficult when you are in the finals for some people to manage to pick up because even when you try to rotate, then the moves automatically move. That is something I don't like also. But we have the option to use it as, as 2D, option, 2D panels, even without them. We use a plugin that is called Pilot View. With Pilot View, this is the plugin. Okay, we set with W key, that is the normal uh, 2D option, 2D view. So here is a 2D cockpit, but this is not what I want you to show. In this Pilot View, we can define have up to eight views and I have defined it for you in this one one version I have defined it better than in one zero but already in one zero you have the options to define whatever view you want and you can manipulate whatever switches from that 2D panels because they are going to behave your like 2D panels. So we have this and we put a case strokes for everyone. So make we make a TIFF the pilot view okay now it's a stiff and we can see different views here i have defined it, these views for example typical 2d copy option 2d copy from for the copilot over here then throttle and fms pedestal the autopilot command panel another 2d option for seeing better the displays, more in front of you, and then a central panel. So I'm going to start uh, switching on the batteries. So I we go to the <coughs> over here, and we just you can see the mouse. Open the battery, switch on the battery. We are going to give a little more lights here. So we must what we need here is first of all because you will see when you open this that only these two displays are visible of course you can see pop up wherever you want the same but we are going to fit all these two uh, displays that are not still visible because we haven't got any energy still we are going to switch off this one and lights go to the overhead panel and we are going to start the fuel the power fuel. We press it, we go here, 
and then we wait for the gauges to sew. We go to the overhead panel again and we press the start button and we have to wait. Starting, we can go here and we see that the APU are starting. We wait until the APU is 100%. That is the way that is going to show here the available button. So we right now can press the APU generator switch that is going to feed all the plane. You can see here that the plane is not aligned, so we are going to align it. First of all, we close it, we move the mouse and there's nothing moving, so no problem for the people. We are going to put flu here to see better, okay? And we go to the pedestal. I have defined a key so I can move here. We put the navigation, IRS to navigation. There are some people that are asking about if it, there is a bug or something. It's not a bug. You have to do it first. You set the, the IRS initialization. You go to the engines, throttles and FMS and we can here input in the 3D or we can put input in the 2D option popping up. We're going to do it here because I want to do it all like this, this was a 2D option. So we set it. We are in Salamanca in this case. We said, Elsa. maybe some people are not visible, not good visible, but remember every display you can pop up. It's not a problem at all. So we input here, copy the coordinates, and you set it here. Now if you go to this two option, it says I align, IRS, IRS align, you know, taxi. Okay, of course, everything is working. Okay. Even it's important here the distance you have. The, the distance the mouse is from the manipulator. So as you can see here, here's more uh, how I say it's uh, like more uh, uh, fine. Define you define better the angle you want, but if you go here, you can go faster. So. I gave you both possibilities for this so. Now we are going to start the engines. For that we go to the head panel, press for example this one, it doesn't matter one of the two, and we are going to start the, the second engine. We press it. Oh, first of all I may miss it. <laughs> I have to press to open this valve. Okay, go down. Okay, that way. We can see on to the pedestal to the ECS that both valves are open so we can now start the engines. We press. We can see here that it's increasing, so we go to the here and we rest. We see how the engine 2 is running. And we go to the second engine, the first engine in this case. Switching on, see how it's increasing. We go to the power panel and increase it. Now we have engines on, and we could start touching that way. We have to go to the pedestal and release parking brakes, and we can manage. We can do whatever we want. Here, manipulate radios, manipulate ADC, whatever thing you want. It's the same way as the old 2D options, but there are uh, three options. But the behavior is the same. We connect the jump dampers, we have changed this one, and we could go to the autopilot right now and set whatever we have to set. Okay, spin, whatever. Okay, we can see the spin, the altitude, whatever you want. Here you can see it, it's no problem. Okay. So but the good thing about all of this is you have something. For example, imagine you want here to say okay I want to switch the beepers and I cannot. 
you can move the option with the keys shoot the peepers and you say ah but I forget the position no problem you have to only press again and you recover the position you know for example here the over here you say okay I want to switch on the taxi lights okay lights 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 but I want to recover the other position okay you only have to go and put press the overhead panel again the key and you recover it so I think it's really amazing technology that lets you use 2D op cockpits as with 3D options. So we don't have to create any 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 of them, any 2D cockpit to use for everyone. And I think this is amazing this stuff. So if we want to go outside, we only have to disconnect the plugin. And we have to go outside. So that's it. Enjoy the plane. It was so hard creating it. So hard. And I I hope you enjoy the plane. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Ciao ciao.